So we discussed before that there are two types of bows used on the double bass. There's the French bow and the German bow. Let's talk now about how to hold the French bow. So the first step is to actually take the French bow out of your bow hand and relax the hand a lot. We want to make sure there's no tension in the hand and we want to keep it that way even when the bow is in the hand. So there's two main ways that I like to find my bow hold. First, I like to turn my hand over like this. Make a so kind of a very soft fist with the thumb inside of it, and you've essentially made your bow hand at this point. So then what you want to do is place the bow into your hand like this, and turn it over, just like that. Things to note are that the thumb should point right there on the frog. A lot of students will want to flatten their thumb out, and this causes a lot of tension in the hand right here, and not enough flexibility in the hand. You should also avoid making sure that the grip is too deep on the bow. You actually want the stick to meet right about where the first knuckle is on both the pinky and the first finger. So once you have that bow grip, just turn it over. The other way I like to talk to people about how to hold the bow is just to relax the hand like this and throw it on top. Relax, throw it on top. This is generally going to give you a relaxed quality bow grip. You'll keep your thumb in that same spot, pointed on the frog. Your second finger should be close to where the ferrule is, right here. And your first finger and fourth finger are touching the stick right about where the knuckles are. Just like that. When we go to put the bow on the string, there'll be some things to remember, but try to always keep the wrist above the fingers of the bow. Avoid bending the hand down. Again, this is going to cause tension, and it's going to cause you to not have the flexibility that's needed. A good general rule of thumb is that if it looks uncomfortable or looks unnatural, it probably is. We want this bow hand to look very relaxed and very flexible. The last common problem that I occasionally see, less and less though now, is that you may have been taught by a violinist how to hold the bow, and you end up having a grip that looks something like this. It's good to understand that the cello and the bass bow hold is different than the violin bow hold, even though the bows look similar. You don't want to place your pinky on top. Rather, make sure that the two knuckles are right there on the stick and the thumb is back there. So try these couple ways to find your bow hold grip. And then you can also do some exercises, such as bouncing it like a fishing line, understanding between the first finger and the thumb how those operate, and climbing up and down the stick like so to create flexibility in your hand. Try these exercises and see if you can come up with a great looking French bow hold.